everyone and welcome to my first ever IGTV. So a friend of mine messaged me earlier today and she was like, why don't you give us your Sephora sale pick recommendations? And I was like, you know what? That's a great idea to do my first ever video. The first brand I'm going to talk about is Drunk Elephant. I've written about this recently on my Instagram, the Drunk Elephant TLC Prime Boost Glycolic Night Serum and the Drunk Elephant TLC Sukari Baby Facial are amazing, amazing, amazing. Both of these are such beautiful products. The baby facial you put, you use once a week, you put it on your face and leave it for 20 minutes. And this one I use nightly and I really cannot recommend these enough. They exfoliate your skin and leave you with gorgeous skin. If you followed me long enough, you know that I swear by the Aquaphor lip balm. Best lip balm ever made. But this one is a close second. I actually layer, layer them on. This is the La Neige Lip Sleeping Mask. Put the Aquaphor on and put this over every night. This comes with this little scooper. You basically scoop a little bit on, leave it on, and wake up with the softest lips ever. But of course, a cheaper alternative is the Aquaphor. It is freaking amazing. Available in drugstores all over the US. Uh, but yeah, for the Sephora sale, get this. For all of you that want single eyeshadows that really look like you've got like a whole look going, this is actually what I have on my eyes today. It is the Tom Ford Cream and Powder Eye Color in 01 Naked Bronze. You basically take a synthetic brush. This is the Sigma brush available in Nordstrom, not in Sephora, but you take any synthetic brush, you use the cream, just put it all over the eyes, and then you take this portion of it, which is the eyeshadow, and tap. It literally looks like you've spent a lot of time on your eyeshadows. These are two others that I have and love. This is Black Oyster, which is basically a black cream with a silver glitter on top. And this one is golden peach eyeliners for eyeliner i actually absolutely love the mark jacobs eyeliner the black is really good but what i have in my waterline today is this brown which is the color browning um it doesn't budge and it gives you a very smoky look without being too harsh i almost forgot to tell you guys if you guys do like eyeshadow palettes and want like a bigger eyeshadow palette anastasia make actually amazing ones if you are a beginner i would recommend the soft glam if you like like the whole berry tone that people are going for today the modern renaissance is amazing i am a huge pat mcgrath eyeshadow fan i have all the large ones but if you don't want to spend that much money get the small ones these two are fabulous and here's why here are the colors in the white ones very taupey and beautiful very wearable and even these green ones this green one is absolutely stunning both are great palettes and a lot more wearable than the larger speaking ones. speaking of pat mcgrath i know people go absolutely nuts over her lipsticks but i actually prefer the urban decay ones they're cheaper and actually in my head better what i have on my lips today is the color liar in a cream formula it is beautiful it stays put and it's so comfortable to wear this is another one in the color safe word which is a beautiful nude and this one is 1993 which is a very 90s brand. you guys know i'm a crazy foundation junkie and my pick for foundation is actually this one which is the aqua foundation by kojendo it is a brand that isn't talked about enough on youtube but gives such a beautiful finish it gives a medium finish it isn't too matte and it isn't too shiny but here's the problem it is not available inside sephora stores only online and the shade range is actually pretty crap but if it helps in any way i am in the color 143 for cheek products this mark jacobs bronzer in the color tantastic is absolutely beautiful because it will not make you look too orange like a lot of bronzers tend to do i actually even love it uh, with this mark jacobs the bronzer brush and for the last product, highlight. I have a crazy, crazy highlighter collection, but ever since I started using this, which is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the color Opal, I haven't been reaching for my powder ones even half as much, and here's why. As I'm growing older and I don't have the perfect skin, this actually is a filter, which is why I look so smooth and beautiful. Uh, I find that powder highlight tends to pick up on all the bumps and the texture that I have in my skin. Liquid is just so much more forgiving. So all you need is just like one little drop, take it and just pat it on the high points of your cheek and it gives you a wet look in the best possible way. Sweaty, but just in the right areas. And the sun hits it and you look beautiful in the sun. 
And that's it for today. If you uh, care to see my Sephora haul when it does come in, do let me know in the comments down below. I already have these products, of course, so these aren't the ones that I have ordered. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will catch you guys soon. Bye!